Beyond the ongoing judicial resistance in Israel, an alarming alliance involving Russia, Iran, Turkey, and others is taking shape. Atheists stumbled upon shocking facts, including the mysterious Pool of Siloam. So let's dive into this video to uncover the ancient pool and how it might reshape our understanding of history. The Pool of Siloam holds a significant place in history, known for the miraculous healing of a blind man by Jesus. However, its sacredness remained concealed within the city of David's confines in Jerusalem for nearly two millennia. The wait is now drawing to a close as archaeologists embark on a crucial excavation at this revered site. The Pool of Siloam, hidden for centuries, is on the brink of being unveiled for public scrutiny. The excavation promises to expose its secrets, allowing people from diverse backgrounds to personally experience its profound significance. This revelation is not just a mere event. It carries immense importance for both Jews and Christians worldwide. The unveiling will undoubtedly resonate as a momentous occasion for religious communities globally. As the excavation progresses, a new chapter in the history of this sacred site will be written. This endeavor enables a deeper connection with the past, unraveling the mysteries surrounding religious figures like Jesus Christ. Exploring the secrets of the Pool of Siloam becomes a captivating yet challenging task, intriguing not only for believers, but also capturing the interest of atheists and agnostics alike. A glimpse into ancient water systems. Transporting ourselves back to the great 8th century BC, almost 2,700 years ago, we encounter the ingenuity of Jerusalem's water system. This clever system gave birth to the remarkable Pool of Siloam. Acting as a serene reservoir, it gracefully collected life-giving water from the Jihon Spring, leaving an indelible mark on the city's landscape. When life-giving waters from the Gihon Spring gracefully flowed, they found their ultimate resting place in the exquisite Pool of Siloam. This serene reservoir, shaped through a complex system of tunnels, played a crucial role in the city's landscape. The Pool of Siloam is not just a historical marvel, it holds sacred significance. The ninth chapter of the Book of John in the Bible recounts the remarkable story of Jesus healing a blind man at this very pool. This narrative further elevates the pool's importance and deepens its connection to biblical tales. Fast forward to the 5th century AD, when Empress Eudocia initiated a remarkable project to commemorate the miracles documented in the New Testament. She commissioned the construction of a beautiful church believed to be situated at the Pool of Siloam. For centuries, Christians have regarded this church as sacred, preserving the memory of the miraculous events associated with the pool. In June 2004, a significant breakthrough occurred during routine maintenance work in the city of David in Jerusalem. Ronnie Reich and Eli Shukran stumbled upon two ancient stone steps. As they delved deeper, they unearthed a colossal pool, shedding light on the pool's existence during Jesus' time. This massive trapezoidal-shaped pool, measuring 225 feet in length with ends angled at more than 90 detours, overlooked the picturesque Tyropoian Valley, the deeper significance of the Pool of Siloam. While providing essential water for daily life, the Pool of Siloam transcended mere functionality. According to Jewish tradition, it was a holy site where people could bathe for ritual purity. Some experts even propose that this extraordinary pool might have functioned as a Roman-style swimming oasis, promoting relaxation and happiness. As we delve into the rich tapestry of biblical history, questions arise, inviting exploration and understanding. The Pool of Siloam, with its fascinating past and deep connections to our beliefs, is a constant source of intrigue. In this journey, atheists may seek approval, but steadfast Christians find assurance in their unwavering faith, embracing the mysteries that continue to unfold. In the quest for proof of biblical miracles, the Bible itself reminds us that faith, not just tangible evidence, justifies our spiritual journey. This underscores the importance of belief in the Christian experience. The discovery of the Pool of Siloam is a tangible link between biblical narratives and the lives of Christians today. This remarkable pool is a real-life testament to God's presence, 
showcasing the strength derived from unwavering faith. The astounding healing of the blind man at the pool of Siloam holds profound meaning. Beyond restoring physical sight, it symbolizes the revival of spiritual understanding. Recognizing Jesus as the Messiah brings both physical and spiritual light back to life. Water as a symbol. The baptism connection. In Christian theology, water often symbolizes cleansing and rebirth. The pool of Siloam in this context becomes a symbol of baptism, a sacred rite cleansing believers of sins and leading them to a new spiritual life, a profound soul rebirth. Linked to numerous biblical stories, the pool of Siloam holds a special place in Christian practices. Pilgrims journey to this sacred site, seeking historical and spiritual truths. The pool's waters encapsulate miracles, connecting believers to their faith. The Pool of Siloam is not merely a historical relic, but a spiritual epicenter in Christianity. Revered for the miracles within its waters, it is an essential part of the Christian faith. While atheists seek concrete proof, believers find strength in the power of belief. The Pool of Siloam, a live testimony, stands as a beacon representing God's presence and the unwavering faith of believers. It encourages acceptance of deep mysteries and highlights the transformative power of spiritual experiences. The Pool of Siloam transcends its practical use, offering a profound connection to old customs and holy stories, a real-life link to the narratives inscribed in religious texts. Its significance goes beyond the physical, shining a bright light on the treasures of faith. The pool's origins trace back to the holy Gohan Spring, Jerusalem's primary water source. King Hezekiah played a crucial role in safeguarding this source, directing its life-giving waters towards the southwest edge of the old city. The Hezekiah Tunnel, a testament to strategic planning, ensured a stable water supply. In 1880, an engraving was discovered near the Pool of Siloam, adding another layer to its intriguing story. This six-line Hebrew inscription, carved into the tunnel wall, depicts the challenges faced during the building process. The clarity of this inscription mesmerizes those who reflect on the incredible collaborative effort of the people involved. The inscription stands as a testament to the remarkable collaboration of people working together. Its intricate details showcase the dedication and hard work invested in creating the Pool of Siloam. Ancestral Determination, the inscription's testimony. The ancient inscription near the Pool of Siloam is a tribute to our ancestors' determination and strength. It proudly showcases their remarkable building skills, offering a glimpse into the popular construction techniques of that era. Traveling back to 29 AD, a pivotal moment unfolds when Jesus arrives in Jerusalem. Engaging in a passionate conversation with the Pharisees, Jesus encounters a man born blind. Demonstrating his healing prowess, Jesus applies clay to the man's eyes and instructs him to wash in the pool of Siloam. This transformative journey leads to the miraculous restoration of the man's sight, etching this event into the memories of believers. The Canaanite cave, a remarkable archaeological marvel in the heart of Jerusalem, weaves its way through the city, connecting the Gihon Spring to the southern end, concluding at the renowned Siloam Pool. Serving as a vital watering system for the lush farms in the Kidron Valley, this ancient tunnel has captivated scholars with its intriguing features. Though debates persist about its origin, most agree it was constructed during the Great Canaanite time in the Middle Bronze Age. The secrets surrounding the Pool of Siloam beckon explorers on a fascinating journey through history, religion, and human accomplishments. This captivating expedition unveils the mysterious tapestry of ancient times, unraveling stories of miracles, customs, and the awe-inspiring strength of our ancestors. The careful carving of this ancient engineering feat from solid rock reflects a level of planning and building skill that continues to amaze us. Marvels of Ancient Engineering Reflecting on the Canaanite Tunnel's engineering marvel, one can only imagine the immense effort required for such a colossal project. 
Considering the limited tools and resources available at the time, the tunnel's construction to divert water from the Gihan Spring to nourish the fertile fields in the Kidron Valley showcases the ancient people's profound understanding of water management and their unwavering dedication to agriculture. The Canaanite Tunnel's ingenious design, featuring strategically placed outlets along its path, amplifies its impressiveness. Each outlet served the purpose of channeling water to distinct farming areas in the Kidron Valley, facilitating agricultural activities. This design attests to the advanced knowledge of water distribution and enables the viability of farming in these designated areas. Scholars often debate the chronological sequence between the Canaanite Tunnel and Hezekiah's Tunnel. The Canaanite Tunnel, situated at a higher elevation, is believed by many to precede Hezekiah's Tunnel. This assumption aligns with the notion that the Canaanite cave was a pioneering water source, predating Hezekiah's efforts to enhance and expand the water system in response to evolving needs. Taking a step back to a time when Jerusalem lacked protective measures, the Canaanite Tunnel proudly served as a vital water source for the flourishing farms in the verdant Kidron Valley. Dating back to the Middle Bronze Age, this engineering masterpiece seamlessly integrates with the region's historical narrative. By constructing this tunnel, the Canaanites demonstrated their adeptness in managing water resources and implementing advanced agricultural practices, offering a valuable glimpse into their culture. Embarking on a journey through the Canaanite cave allows us to traverse the steps of our ancestors and gain insights into their thriving society. From complex engineering principles to their astute organization of society, the Canaanite Tunnel stands as a testament to the intelligence and foresight of our ancient predecessors. This expedition through time underscores the remarkable wisdom of our ancestors. As archaeologists delve into the surroundings of the Canaanite Tunnel, their meticulous efforts unearth a trove of artifacts and structures. These discoveries, including pottery fragments dating back to the Middle Bronze Age, provide compelling evidence of the tunnel's ancient origin. The Canaanite Tunnel stands as a testament to the enduring legacy of a bygone era, offering valuable insights into the lives of our ancestors. Quoted in the Gospel of St. John, the Pool of Siloam holds a special place in religious discussions, evoking both emotion and interest. Many believe it to be the sacred site where Jesus miraculously healed a blind man, lending credence to biblical narratives. The discovery of the Pool of Siloam in June 2004 fueled speculation, resembling the biblical description providing a source of comfort for Christians. The alignment between the archaeological find and the sacred text fosters a deeper belief in the miraculous events chronicled in religious scriptures. While faithful individuals find reassurance in the congruence between the biblical pool and its archaeological counterpart, thoughtful skeptics pose counterarguments. They emphasize that the existence of the Pool of Siloam does not unequivocally validate every supernatural event in the Bible. This nuanced discussion prompts contemplation, fueling both faith and skepticism. The discovery of the Pool of Siloam intensifies debates on its significance and interpretation. Various perspectives emerge, reflecting diverse beliefs and understandings. For the faithful, this event is a compelling proof of Jesus' divine power, a poignant reminder of the extraordinary occurrences in his life. In contrast, atheists offer naturalistic explanations, seeking to understand the event through a lens devoid of supernatural elements. A Journey of Thought and Discussion the existence of the Pool of Siloam not only prompts debates about its authenticity, but also sparks contemplation on the meaning of the event. The ancient pools of Jerusalem, including the Pool of Siloam and the Pool of Bethesda, hold a profound significance in biblical narratives. These pools, described in various verses such as John chapter 9 verse 7 and chapter 5 verse 2, are believed to be the sites of miraculous healing by Jesus. It says, Jesus healed a man born blind at the pool of Siloam and a paralyzed man at the pool of Bethesda. 
The healing events are often attributed to psychosomatic phenomena or a deeper understanding of nature's workings. Deeply rooted in these pools, the healing concept reflects Jesus' remarkable power and compassion for physical and spiritual well-being. The significance of these pools extends beyond individual healing stories. They play a crucial role in Christian history. The remarkable occurrences at the pools underline Jesus' unlimited healing capabilities, leaving an indelible mark on the Christian faith. Apart from the pools, recent archaeological findings in Jerusalem have sparked debates and discussions, particularly among atheists seeking logical explanations. A group of Israeli scholars uncovered what they believed to be a beautiful palace from the time of the biblical Jewish kingdom. Located three kel near south of Jerusalem's old city in the East Talbot area, this palace dates back to the 8th or 7th century BC during the First Temple period, 10th to 6th century BC. The site boasts intricately carved stone buildings and artifacts, including three elaborate stone caps and ornate window frames. Researchers are puzzled by the deliberate burial of valuable items at the site. The well-preserved artifacts, carefully hidden, raise questions about the purpose behind concealing these treasures. People speculate that the house was constructed during the First Temple period, and the column capitals found are considered powerful examples of royal architecture. Surprising Artifacts from the First Temple The Israel Antiquities Authority, IAA, recently unearthed a remarkable artifact, shedding light on the mysteries of the past. This discovery spans the timeline from the era of the First Temple to present-day Jerusalem. Researchers were astounded to find two neatly buried capitals stacked on top of each other during the excavation. Professor Yaakov Billig, overseeing the dig, expressed bewilderment at the mysterious burial. He pondered over the enigma of who might have hidden these capitals in such a peculiar manner and the reasons behind it. The discovery of the buried capitals adds to a series of intriguing puzzles that archaeologists are eager to unravel. The excavation site revealed these enigmatic artifacts and unveiled the remnants of a magnificent palace likely demolished during the Babylonian conquest of Jerusalem in 586 BC. The palace, offering a breathtaking view of what is now known as the City of David and the Holy Plateau, possibly belonged to a prominent figure. The IAA speculates it might have been the residence of a Tudor king or a wealthy noble family, given its strategic location and grandeur. The carvings on the site's capitals hold immense significance, showcasing a visual pattern from the time of the kingdoms of Judah and Israel. Interestingly, these designs are immortalized on the current Israeli five-shekel coin, symbolizing a rich historical legacy. While these discoveries captivate the imagination, it's essential to acknowledge the skepticism surrounding ancient history and biblical archaeology. Some experts have doubted the authenticity of the Bible stories about the city of David. Yet amidst these shadows of doubt, new findings emerge, unraveling the mysteries and affirming the existence of the legendary city of David. The Significance of the City of David in Ancient Times the city of David holds a crucial place in ancient history, documented in various texts and destined to remain a topic of discussion in history books. Known for its Gihon Spring and robust walls, the city is vital to Israel's religion and historical narrative. Ancient sacred texts highlight the pivotal role of King David in the city's history. He united Israel's diverse tribes, transforming the independent city of Jebus into the capital of a unified country. The city of David served as the kingdom's focal point for an impressive 33 years, witnessing significant events and problem-solving. Despite doubts and debates from skeptics, this recent discovery stands as a beacon of historical truth. It elevates the city of David to a unique status among ancient finds, comparable to the significance of the Dead Sea Scrolls and the Pool of Siloam in Jerusalem. The discovery reinforces the authenticity of Bible stories, silencing skeptics and securing its place in history. Situated on the southern edge of Jerusalem, the city of David is enclosed by tall walls, remnants of the once grand gate complex. 
The remarkable architecture and sizable buildings attest to the city's power and importance in the ancient Israelite northern country. The visual display of soldiers and chariots emphasizes the city's significance, documented both in the Bible and Syrian records. While strategically positioned for defense, the city of David faced constant threats, particularly from the Aramaic people and later the Assyrians. In the 8th century, Aramaic forces laid siege to the city, testing its strength. The decisive blow came from the Assyrian conqueror Tiglath-Pazer II in 1993, resulting in the city's destruction and a pivotal turning point in its history. On the other hand, a glimmer of hope emerged from the depths of time, a significant discovery etched in a big stone stellar. Bearing an inscription, this stone held the key to solving long-standing mysteries, breathing life into the city's historical narrative. During an era when writing was uncommon, papyrus was a fragile medium easily destroyed by time. However, this engraved item defied the odds, showcasing a resilient inscription in a language resembling Hebrew. This inscription, believed to have been commissioned by King Zeal of Aram after capturing the city, lacked the king's name but crucially mentioned Isaiah of the House of David, the King of Judah. For the first time in the Iron Age, an inscription directly linked the city to the lineage of King David. This revelation provided tangible proof of the existence and historical legacy of the Davidic kingdom. The discovery not only affirmed the reality of the kingdom, but also shed new light on the story of Jesus Christ, traditionally considered a descendant of David. This archaeological find carries profound implications challenging skeptics and conspiracy theorists who questioned the existence of the city of David. Those who doubted and speculated about researchers fabricating historical writings are now confronted with tangible evidence. The inscription stands as an unbreakable fortress, proclaiming the truth, reinforcing the city's reputation as a symbol of power and strength. The inscription becomes more than a relic, it becomes a door to the heart of our shared human journey. As we delve into ancient ruins and forgotten histories, history unfolds, offering glimpses into the mysterious tapestry of our past. Each discovery encourages us to dig deeper, unraveling the echoes of past cultures and enriching our understanding of our shared heritage. In the world today, atheists often rely on science and logic to challenge popular ideas wielding a significant influence. The recent findings, however, bring forth contradictions that demand careful examination. These discoveries compel us to ponder the implications and consider what these results mean for our understanding of history and human existence. So what do you think of the discovery by atheists in Jerusalem? Comment below and subscribe for more.